Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you how to use the advanced design system, uh, the Pathwave advanced design system to perform the DC simulations. So to start ADS, you just double click on this one and it will start this uh, main window of the ADS. And from here, first of all, you have to create a workspace. So to that end, you go to File, New, Workspace, or just click this icon here and uh, from here you can create a new work workspace. So let's say uh, we'll call this a tutorial in underscore DC. So this is tutorial uh, DC workspace. Leave that as such intact. And if you are going to do a layout in, in the future, we will be using momentum. So it's better to keep it uh, uh, like you know so checked because in, in when you are doing layout you have to create the uh, you have to choose the uh, units and many different things it's a good idea to keep it checked so make sure that when you are you have planned to use momentum keep this checked then create workspace and it will ask you to choose what kind of uh, resolution you want you want to work in mils or millimeter Normally for ADS, uh, momentum design, we'll be using this, not particularly related to this tutorial that I'm going today. Uh, I'm going to do today, but uh, it will be useful in future uh, and just click uh, finish. So once you have created your uh, tutorial DC workspace, so this will show up here in the main window. And now your task is to create a schematic. So you go here, file new schematic or you can just hit this button and create a new schematic. So in the first simulation, I'm going to create a voltage divider. So I will just name it, for example, volt underscore div. And maybe this is version one. So I will call it DC uh, voltage divider underscore one. You can name it anything you want, okay? And just create a schematic. And once you create a schematic, remember, your main window was there and then another schematic window will pop up here and in this schematic window you will be creating all the schematic now if you go here you have so many different groups in this component palette so for example if you wanted lumped components by default it is at lumped component so you can pick up R, L, C, and many other different components that you will use in the future. For example, a DC feed, short circuit, DC block. Then you have also the sources, for example, the frequency domain sources, the DC source, DC voltage source, DC current source, and many other different kind of sources. Then you have the time domain source as well. So uh, sources, time domain somewhere. And if you wanted a voltage pulse, a step and those kind of you know time varying sources you can grab them from here so you have both options the voltage as well as the current so depending upon what you are dealing with you can pick one of those from here then you have different kind of simulations that you can perform using ads and today we are interested in simulation dc so this is what we'll pick in in, in a moment so let's go ahead and first create a voltage divider circuit so for that you need uh, two resistors like so so uh, excuse me what I did is I just clicked here and move my cursor here don't drag just click here left click and move your cursor here in the window and then while this is active I just left click to put the one instance of the component and uh, if you want another component just go here click that one and bring it here but I just I'm not I'm just trying to put one more instance of uh, resistor so while this is active I will just press Control R to rotate this like so and I will put it here left click I mean and press escape button to come out of this mode then I need a voltage source I will go source frequency domain and then I will create I will take VDC I will take VDC from here and uh, put this one for example here press escape to come out of this mode now to move the text what you do is you press F5 F5 key on the keyboard. So press F5 on the keyboard and then click here and it will allow you to move the text. So for example, if I wanted to move this text here, so I will press F5 
somewhere and I'm in this text moving com, you know, uh, mode. So I will just click on this register and it will allow me to move the text associated with this register like so and press escape to come out of that mode. Now to wire things up and uh, okay, so one more thing is uh, you can also go edit and uh, move and move component text f5 okay if you ever forget now click on this wire mode here click here and just click here because you are going to take a 90 degree turn and then you can actually also just go here and move your mouse from here and it will allow you to uh, connect those two nodes then you go here i just do it this way Sometimes you press escape to come out of this mode. Sometimes you need to move this wire. So you just go here and click on this one, left click, and then move this wire like so. And click. So that's how you have, you create a voltage divider. Then always in the spice-like simulator, such as ADS or any other circuit simulator, one of the node must always be ground. Otherwise it will throw some error. So again, I will wire these two things together. Then to change the value, I will I can just type in, for example, I wanted it to be one kilo ohm. So I type in one here and then here I attach K. So that becomes one kilo ohm. Or I can just double click on this one and then I can edit a number of different parameters. So for example, for this one, I will type in one here and choose this unit to kilo ohm and press OK, apply. Then I can also change this value in a similar manner. I can just type in, for example, 5 volt here. And I, in a circuit, you can have a number of different, different uh, you know, amount of nodes. So, for example, I have one node here, one junction here. And this, by default, is the ground. So it is better to kind of, you know, name some of the nodes in which you are interested. So, for example, I'm interested in uh, this node and this node. So what you do is you just click on this here, name and click here on this wire and you will call it out for example so the name of this node is out and no name of this node is in and press escape enter and press escape click and press escape so this node is now name of this node is in name of this node is out and then this voltage divider circuit is set up for dc simulation so about before that of course we have to put a dc simulation uh, controller so you go simulation DC and grab this source here. Escape and then double click on this one. And because we wanted to do a single point operating point analysis, so we will just choose single point and do nothing. Just click OK. And this is set up for simulation. Now press save button from here. And to run the simulation, just click on this wheel or you can also press F7. So just click on this one and it will do the simulation and this uh, result window will pop up. So this is called a data display window in ADS, a schematic window and data display window. And before that, there was that main window here. Okay. All right. So because I'm expecting basically one single operating point, so it's better to display this result in tabular form. So I just click on this, uh, this um, icon here that shows number one, two, three, four and then move my mouse here in this area and click on N and press control button and also select out, for example, and add and press OK. So lo and behold, here you have, you add the input, you have five volt. Now, sometimes when you move this, it will move. So be very careful when you are just hit left click somewhere here in this area and then move this square box, for example, like so. And then you can also move this one, uh, click on this one to kind of, you know, uh, zoom fit here. So in the input is five volt and the output is 2.5 volt. That's what we will expect from this voltage divider, theoretically at least. So this is how you perform the DC operating point analysis. In the next video, we will perform the DC sweep. Uh, so see you in a bit.